Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well ladies and gentlemen, don't take it from me, but take it from the mainstream media if you wish. The mainstream media is now admitting that we are facing the worst food crisis in modern history. So when a kook like me gets in front of a YouTube screen and tells you, hey, you need to stock up because prices are going to go up. Food is going to become more scarce. Don't take it from me. Take it from the mainstream media if you like, but get prepared. People on the other side of the planet are dropping dead from starvation right now. But most people don't even realize that this is happening. And most people in Western nations don't realize that, that our policies are making this happen. You know, that makes me think about this comment that I got a while back. Where someone says, I don't care what policies they pass. And I'm paraphrasing. I don't care what policies they pass as long as it helps the environment. And this is coming from a person that lives in a first world nation. That lives in one of these western countries like here in the united states that don't see what these policies are doing to disenfranchised i would say nations that are third world countries that people are literally starving to death think about that if you don't want to think about what the policies are doing for us here uh making gas more expensive making propane or making natural gas more expensive for the eu and all these things if you don't want to think about that think about what the policies are doing for these third world countries where people are literally starving to death global hunger is rapidly spreading and that is because global food supplies have been getting tighter and tighter and it will be those countries that are the poor countries that get hit first just like here in the united states at a micro level if you're making an income i don't know hundred thousand dollars or more a year let's say right you can notice or you've noticed that the food prices have gone up but you can still afford to eat but what about those families that make a $40,000 a year income or a $50,000 a year income that are now finding themselves for the first time ever going to food banks as the food banks themselves have to dole out less food because they have more customers and less assistance. So if you have a food pantry near you, don't be afraid to donate if you can. If current trends continue, we could potentially be facing a nightmare scenario before this calendar year is over. Now, what's the worst case scenario for you, ladies and gentlemen, if you live in a Western nation, in a first world country? Worst case scenario for you, depending on what part of the socioeconomic ladder you're in, would be that you have to pay a lot more for food, right? And that you're going to have to cut off some things that you don't need discretionary spending I guess your Netflix account to your phone data plan things like that cut those things out because now you're having to spend more money on food than you were last year and also the worst case scenario for people that are poor are having to go to food banks to get food to supplement what they can afford to buy but the worst case scenario for people that are in third world countries like Africa like India is that they're going to starve Right? They are going to starve. And we are doing this, ladies and gentlemen. When I say we, I mean the governments of the world. We are doing this in the name of global warming. Think of, oh, excuse me, climate change. Think about that. If you all remember me reporting on Pakistan's flood earlier last year, they had a flood that pretty much wiped out 80 to 90% of all of their crops, of all of their country's crops, 80 to 90% of their crops were wiped out. Here they say that Pakistan is not one of the poorest nations in the world, but the lack of affordable food is starting to cause panic inside that country. Last Saturday, hundreds of people lined up for hours outside of a park to buy subsidized wheat flour, offered for 65 rupees a kilogram instead of the current inflated rate of about 140 to 160 rupees. And listen to this, one man who was there to bring home a five kilogram bag of flour, so about a 11 pound bag of flour or so, for his wife and children, was crushed and killed in the chaos. Things have already gotten so bad that even CNN is admitting that we are facing the worst food crisis in modern history. Ladies and gentlemen, you can take that to the bank, whether CNN says it or not. We will see this here in the United States we will see food shortages in the united states we will see higher and higher prices in the united states what happens when we go into this next major downturn in the economy 
the Federal Reserve has stated that they're going to stay course as far as interest rates go. And they're in a catch-22. It doesn't matter what they do. We will be suffering. It does not matter what they do because the more that they, they elevate the interest rates, the more people that are going to be out of work. A lot of those people that live paycheck to paycheck. All right. Now, when they turn course and they start lowering interest rates, then inflation is going to skyrocket. So people may be able to go back to work because maybe businesses are being able to borrow cheap money again and put into hiring people. However, the cost of food is going to be so much greater than what they can afford that they're going to find themselves going without food as well. So we are in a catch-22. And what I say is, I say... Pull that Band-Aid off, get it over with, and let the chips fall where they fall. Because we are going to suffer either way. And, you know, I know it's unfair of me to say, let's just get it over with. Because so many people are not prepared for this. And that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm telling you. For goodness sakes, if you are new to this channel, if you just happen to come across this video and you're not preparing, you can prepare. It doesn't matter what part of the socioeconomic ladder you are on. I had someone during yesterday's live stream tell me that, hey, since I've been watching you, I've been prepping a couple of things every week because I'm not of means where I can just go out there and prep whatever I want. And she said that it's built up over the last year that they now have a pretty good amount of preps. Because every time they go shopping, they get one or two cans more of this or that, maybe an extra pound of pasta. It will make a difference over time, but you have to start doing it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take a quick second to let you know that Nutrient Survival, if you're in the market for free stride long-term food storage, they are having a bundle deal, which means that you can create your own bundle of six number 10 cans, whatever you want. You don't have to buy a case of any one item and you get 20% off of that bundle. And it's gonna last from now all the way through midnight Sunday night. They gave me a special link for that. The AP community is the first to get this link. So use the link, I'll leave it in the description of this video and you can get 20% off. If you are in the market for that, if you're not, just disregard what I said. Other than that, let's carry on. Across Africa, from east to west, people are experiencing a food crisis that is bigger and more complex than the continent has ever seen, say diplomats and humanitarian workers. And they say here, do you remember those years when Sally Struthers was begging uh, for money to feed people in Africa? We're going to see those times again, except it's going to be a lot worse than it was back then. At one hospital in Somalia, grieving mothers are regularly bringing in very young children that they have literally starved to death, or that they literally starved to death. Sometimes mothers bring us dead children, and they don't know that they are dead when they bring them in. Incredible. Weakened by hunger, camp residents are vulnerable to disease, and people are dying due to lack of food. Uh, said another person who managed the camp where Isaac's family initially stayed. And she finishes by saying, we are calling out for help and we, we don't see any relief. And you know what's so difficult about donating uh, for this cause, like for people that are in other countries, like in the continent of Africa, the countries within, is that people no longer trust these large institutions because so much, you know, so many bad things have been done with the money that has been donated for this and it has been misallocated that people just don't trust these large institutions anymore. The U UN officials are doing what they can to help, but the truth is, is that they are absolutely overwhelmed by the scope of this crisis. Over the past 12 months, the number of Africans that are dealing with acute food security has absolutely exploded. And they say that the number of East Africans that are experiencing acute food insecurity, why don't they just say that are experiencing hunger and starvation? Uh, let me see, has spiked by 60% in just the last year and nearly 40% in West Africa. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, our corn harvest this year was the smallest in 15 years. I hope that you all watch the video that I put up not too long ago where I showed you that at the beginning of last year, around April of 2022, I, was do I did a video showing you that the USDA always says that we're going to have a good harvest this year during the beginning of the year and then at the end of the year they revised those numbers and now they're saying that this was the worst in 15 years 
Now listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Here it says, at this point, the average U.S. household is spending $72 more per month than it was at the same time last year. Are you spending $72 more per month than you were last year? I, I would probably contest that number. It's probably a little bit higher. Or if people are only spending $72 more per month, it's because they've cut down on what they purchase uh, compared to the past. As we move forward, the widespread use of Beetle Burgers is one of the solutions that the global elites are starting to push, and they were pushing this during the WEF meeting at Davos. Beetle Burgers could soon be helping to feed the world, they say, and Beetle Burgers are their saying for like, uh, what's the name of those mealworms, uh, mealworms, according to new research. The creepy crawlers, larvae, better known as mealworms, could act as a meat alternative to alleviate hunger worldwide. I am going to make a prediction right now, so I'm going to put it on record. They're going to test this out on those people that are starving overseas. They are going to feed them these beetle burgers, all right, because they're not selling at the stores, right? People aren't freely buying beetle burgers or crawl, crawl critter burgers, whatever you want to call them. So they're going to feed them to the people that are starving. And then they're going to see, you see how good this works? Except it's not. And finishing it off, no matter what the global elite try, they will not be able to stop the worst food crisis in modern history from getting a whole lot worse. So I would encourage you to stock up while you can. Stock up while you can, ladies and gentlemen. We are going through a crisis that's going to last years. Not months, not one year. It's going to last years. So stock up the best that you can. Keep your, keep your um, uh, gaps filled in your pantry rotate your food right and if you haven't watched the video i'll try to leave it in the upper right hand corner i think it's over there or over there right i did do a video about the four steps to prepping food from mid to long term to extra long term watch that video it will give you an idea on how you can start to prepare if you haven't started yet at the very minimum ladies and gentlemen at the very minimum get prepped up with food and water there's a whole bunch of other things that you're going to need. But at the very minimum, get prepped up on food and water. You'll be a lot better off than people that aren't preparing right now. Having said that, have a great day. I do have another video to put out later on today. And remember that if you are in the market for freeze-dried foods, Nutrient Survival is the very best and most nutrient-dense freeze-dried foods that you can buy, period. And right now, you can build your own bundle and save 20%. And it's for the AP community, so use the link that they provided me down in the description of the video. Other than that, have a great weekend, ladies and gentlemen, and we will talk to you later on. God bless you all.